I did a video the other day on why my torch won't melt silver dealing with the burns and matics and the other air propane torches. Uh, it's because they're at the ragged edge of their BTUs to be able in free air, especially in a melding dish, to uh, melt silver. So, talking to a young man back in the south, uh, I told him today, you know, you give yourself every advantage and he's got a little stack brick furnace that he built. So, you know, I told him, I says, line that son of a gun with KO wool and uh, you'll have you a rock and roller there. And Well, he'd never heard of KO wool. And, you know, there's probably a lot of folks that haven't. So, what I'm going to do here, dug around in my pile of bricks and we're going to throw together a stack brick little furnace and then we'll take it one step further and we'll go ahead and we'll put a kale wool lining in it and uh, it makes a big difference on getting crucibles and melting dishes to uh, melt silver so I'll get set up and we'll go I got the nitro gloves on the kale walls a little okay well I'm sure that everybody has a stack of bricks so what I've got here is just a stack of fire brick, 2300 degrees. So I'm going to take this nice big thick one. I'm going to lay it here. Now I'm sure everybody's got a half brick with a hole in it. Not. Uh, I'm just going to stack it on the end. Then I'm going to take fire brick, stack it on the side another one on the side and I don't want it to get too high so I'll take a half brick and stack it here half brick and stack it here and then we can take this one lay it on top now we got a, a nice little foundation for a furnace uh, pretty big your little crucible it's gonna look awful lonely sitting in there so we're gonna do the next step I'm going to cut a KO wool liner to put in there and uh, we'll see what we get. So I'll just lift this brick off. Now I am going to give myself a little bit of an advantage here by putting on a little particle mask. I may sound a little muffled but not everybody gets to wear these. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece that will fit on the back. And so I'll just take a brick and use it as a template. I just cut it with scissors. Okay, and then I'm going to stick that right in the back against the back wall. Fold the excess down. Then I'm going to cut a piece that's going to lay in the bottom. So I'll do the same thing. Just, I mean, you don't gotta. Now we just lay that right in the bottom. Then I'm going to cut a piece that's going to go up, over, and down. So I'm going to have to guess at that length, so I'll flip this thing over. I'm just going to whack off a piece here. And then we'll see what we get. If we take that, if we stand it up, Form it over. Well, I'm a hair long, so we'll trim. Okay, so now we've got A little stack brick furnace, but we've lined it with KO wool. 
Let me get down in there where you can see better. Okay, I took the end off of there. The thing I want to do is cut a hole in the end plate for the torch to go through. And I want to cut it large enough that it will allow a little bit of air to get pulled in as well. Okay, now I'm going to put this back together. Stack my bricks back up. Oh, got that one there already. This one here. This one here. Give that a little fold over. Okay, and we'll get that put back on there. And now we got the basics make sure I got both torches off turn on the propane nitro gloves off That's mask off. That thing is aggravating. Okay.
Mako Crucible. It's got scrap silver in it. Tilt down just a hair. I'm gonna charge it up with a little bit of anhydrous borax. You put that in. Okay, that's good.
didn't make it any hotter, but the KO wool definitely improved what I would have got with just bricks. Normally for what I do, I would have never gone with the full brick. Uh, most of the time, if you're working with the one inch or inch and a half crucible, then you'd want your firebox on your furnace to only be a, maybe an inch bigger, big enough to where your tongs will slide in past. And you can open them enough to get around the crucible and slide it in, but just for a quickie, I just used the bricks that I had. Uh, most of the people that, that use the air propane torches are really sadly disappointed. When they try to heat a melting dish, like this little melting dish right here, you put that on a brick in free air and you're going to be there a while because it just, the heat goes down into the brick instead of the metal and uh, the crucible and the melting dishes themselves consume the heat. So, uh, but when you get into the furnace environment, then You've given yourself every advantage. So anyway, that's just taking the old stack brick one step further. <laughs>